everyone, so recently I've been in love with the trend of buying prom dresses on eBay and trying them on. I just find these videos so fun to watch so I thought that I would make one. I know a lot of people have done them but hopefully this one might even be useful because you never know, we might find a nice dress. So all of the dresses are from eBay, they'll all be linked down below. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you go and click the subscription button down below so you can be notified of my new videos. I am going to try these dresses on but I'm going to like review them first and unbox them and then I'll try them on. As a little side note, if you are thinking about ordering one of these dresses for prom, then definitely order them in advance um, because some of them have taken quite a while to get here so yeah just a little tip. So I have a load of dresses here to try on so let's just get started. Okay I'm going to start with this one because it's just really interesting how they've packaged it in a vacuum form packet which is good for packaging but um, let's just see how crinkled this dress is. I'm going to give each one like a number out of five on their quality, price, fit and then an overall ratings. So this dress is meant to look like this. I don't know why but this is such a pet peeve of mine with dresses when they have like a short underskirt and then the rest is clear. really don't know why I hate that. But um, it doesn't feel that bad considering it's been vacuum packed as well. Um, the colour's nice. Um, this top band doesn't feel too cheap. Um, the clasp is very cheap looking, it literally just, I don't think I've ever seen a clasp quite like this. <laughs> so this dress was $7.99 which is just pretty insane for a dress. Um, I don't think you'd even find a dress in Primark for that cheap. So for the price, I mean it's pretty good value, it's not obviously the best quality but um, yeah we'll just have to try it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've now put you on my vlogging camera because my big one just can't fit all of me in. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the dress on now. To start with, I actually really like this top part. I think this fit just looks very elegant. I haven't got a proper like bra on right now, so I just had to tuck my straps in, um, as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, this bit gapes a bit. Oh, God. This bit gates a bit and the fastening you might want to change because it's just not good. <laughs> yeah, I like the top part. Um, the skirt part, I'm wearing like slightly darker pants just so we can test the opacity of these skirts. <laughs> so yeah, so you can definitely see the pants through this, so that's a no. You definitely have to wear some sort of nude um, pair under there. But um, I don't like this cut off skirt bit. I just don't like that in general about skirts. But um, if I tilt you down a bit. And then the length you can see cuts off quite short if you're wearing heels. And I'm five foot seven, which is quite average. But I mean, it's a nice length. If you want your um, shoes to be showing then it looks good. So overall the quality, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. For price, I'm going to give the dress a 4 out of 5 because it's $7.99, which is pretty cheap. <laughs> Fit is pretty good, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. And then overall, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Yeah, so that's the first dress done. Okay, next up. Ah, I have another pink one and I can tell I'm going to hate this already because the white lace with that pink, I don't like that. <laughs> not cut the dress very good. Oh, it doesn't feel that bad quality, the lace. Ooh, oh, God. It's got a little waistband with the sort of really, really polyester -y fabric. Um, and then it's just really long. Um, so this one looks like it's got a nicer underslip than the other one did. There's only like a slight puckering in the zip. Um, oh, let's see if it actually works, the zip. Yeah, just about. <laughs> so this one was $10.99. So let's go and try it on and see if it's worth that. So I've got the next one on now and it is quite tight around here. Like 
If I breathe, I feel like I'm gonna pop it. I bought it in a size eight and I'm normally a size eight and this is just like, <gasps> I have quite big ribs. I'm a 34 around here. So that might be why it's so tight, but normally they're fine. Anyway, the lace detailing is quite nice in this main bodice bit, but this little bit here just seems really like unfitted. Like it doesn't hug to the body nicely at all. Um, the lace around here is quite nice. Um, waistband, but then the main problem is um, the fact that <laughs> you can literally see straight through your legs. <laughs> so you definitely have to wear something underneath this. To be fair though, even though I wasn't sold on the lace at first, I actually quite like it on um, as like a prom dress top, it's quite nice. But the rest of it just does not work. <laughs> so quality is going to be a one. Price is going to be a one. Fit is a one and an overall is a one because <laughs> this dress is just not good. Okay, another pinky, dusky pink one. Size medium. Quite a few of these I went for a size medium um, because I wasn't sure that a small was going to fit because they're very mean in their sizing, some of these things. And I've known from past experiences. So. I can't even remember which one this is. What? Oh. See, I thought this one didn't even arrive because it was all rolled up and I didn't see this bit. It did arrive. So, um, hmm, lovely. <laughs> I can't seem to find this one on my order history anywhere, but I will find it and put the image up next to me again. Um, so this is the next one. This is probably the worst one so far. Um, look at this. Oh, that's meant to like hug the body and it just flaps up. That's nice, isn't it? Fabric is horrible. Like if you went to prom in this, you'd probably lose a few pounds just from sweating in it and also lose your dignity from it being completely see-through. But yeah, we'll just have to see and try it on. So this is what this dress looks like on. It doesn't look too bad. Um, as I said, it's very see-through, like this fabric feels like a tent. The top bit's quite pretty, um, and the detailing doesn't look too bad on camera, but in real life it's like, ew. <laughs> um, but like, it just wants to fall off my shoulders, so yeah. It's very like, off the shoulder. I mean, if you like the dress and you want it, then get some like tape double-sided tape or like the stuff you use for your cleavage and put it under there to hold it down um, and you'd probably just wear like I don't know I don't know what sort of bra you'd wear with that then buy like a skirt slip so you'd be covered down below <laughs> the length's good it's much better than all the other ones it's actually long <laughs> um, but yeah it's just too see-through so overall the quality of this one I'm gonna say a one again um, because of the fact it's tent fabric and I'm pretty sure this is one of the more expensive dresses so I'm gonna give this a zero actually for price fit zero and then overall I'll give you a half <laughs> I'll give you a half dress because you 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 had good intentions but it just didn't work out okay next one finally something that's not pink now we have a red dress a red lacy dress and I think from the picture, this was my favourite one. Um, so hopefully it lives up to the picture. Okay, so the, the dress part looks nice because it's nice and long. Um, and it's got a long slip underneath, which is good. It doesn't stop halfway down. The lace feels pretty horrible. Um, and then there's this weird mesh bit between the boobies um, which I mean if it looks all right I'd probably just cut that out although that's quite see-through <laughs> it's got a zip again let's test out the zip I mean they haven't um, inserted the zip properly <laughs> fashion design student always picks up on the zip see it doesn't come down properly oh this one was 14.99 and there is quite a lot of fabric in the skirt part, so hopefully it will look nice on. It's just this netting bit that I'm just so confused about. We shall see what that looks like, and it was 14 99 I said that. 
<laughs> I actually quite like this dress. I think it's definitely the closest to its image that I've had so far. Um, I mean, you can't see the meshy bit from that far away, but if you come up close, it's like there, very obviously. And I think if you had dark skin, it would be much more obvious. You can see my belly button. Can you? Can you see my belly button? Um, I mean, you can see the pants, <laughs> the purple pants. <laughs> I mean, you'd probably have to wear a slip under this one too because it's showing the pants again. Um, not as bad as most of the other ones, but let's just, let's look at the back. I didn't bother taking my bra off, so I'm sorry about that, but I mean, the back's okay. Um, so yeah, this whole top half is fine. So you can see the pants, but I mean, if you wore nude pants, then it'd be better. It's not that long. Um, it's got quite nice shaping and then going out this. But yeah, I quite like it. Okay, so overall quality, I'm going to give a three. I'm being generous. Price, I'm gonna give it a two because it's $14.99 and compared to the other ones, I feel like that's more pricier and it's just, it's still see-through. <laughs> fit, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give it a five actually for fit because it does fit really well. Like nothing's falling off, nothing's, baggy where it shouldn't be so yeah that deserves five so overall i'm gonna give it a three and a half thought i'd update you and tell you that i'm currently stuck in the dress <laughs> literally can't get the zip on <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm free then i think this is the final one we have here this one was in like a nude tan shade and Okay, how much was this one? So this one was meant to look like this. It was £20, which is a lot more compared to all the other ones. But it's meant to be like one of those wrap ones that you can wrap a million different ways. And I've actually had one of the proper make brands. I borrowed it for my year, year 11 prom. Um, and this one feels pretty gross compared. <laughs> I mean, the fabric doesn't feel that bad. It's not like the nicest colour. I feel as though I could look like I'm wearing nothing with this dress on, so we'll just have to find out and see what it looks like. I don't really know how I'm going to put this dress on, so I thought I'd do it on camera. So it looks like she, this girl's gone like, like this, and then has gone like, twisted it all the way down at the back. I'm just twisting this down the back. Um, twist, it. twist it around the front and then twist it round again and then tie it at the back I think. There you go. Definitely can't wear a bra with these sorts of dresses, like it just doesn't work. So I'd suggest investing in either stick on bra or nipple covers. They work wonders. <laughs> I was worried about the colour but it's not actually that bad. Um, I mean, I'd probably have gone for a different colour if I'd have known it would have been this bad. <laughs> um, I like how it's done up at the back, how I did it up. Yeah, the fabric's actually an alright quality. It's not half as see-through as all of the other ones have been. So, yeah, I like it. So, for quality, I'm going to give this one a four. Price is about three because it's quite pricey, it was about £19 something. Fit is five because it's pretty good fit. This um, elastic waistband isn't too tight, it's not too loose. The width of the band isn't too short, like that would be the thing that would be majorly wrong with this dress if it was. <laughs> so yeah, overall I'm going to give this dress a four. Yeah, a four. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, it was just a little bit of fun and if you did like any of the prom dresses they will all be linked down below in the description bar. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!